You know how frustrating it is to gather all your sea service, write it all down on the CG719S form for you know the vessels less than 200 gross tons, the Coast Guard form, and then you have to go find everyone and have them hand sign all the paperwork. It's a pain in the butt. We wrote a tool because we're a bunch of captains to make it way, way easier for you. And we put it inside of MMCs.com. So just click create, create, and then you can look up your boat. So I'm going to move me over here. Let's do it on Ina Ari, which is a boat, if I could spell. Look it up our boats real quick. And there we have Ina Ari. We know the official number. It already has its registration number in here. I'm going to hit use this vessel. If I didn't have that information, I can type in, I don't see my boat. You can put in your vessel name. It's probably not going to be owned by the federal government. Put in whatever type of number you're going to use for your proof of ownership. We'll just say it's testing McTest, not owned by the government. And testing the numbers. Next, you can put in your tonnage, your length, foot, and your width and your depth, and then what kind it is. If you don't know your tonnage, totally okay, right? So this one, say it's a 27 foot boat, seven foot wide, and it draws 2.5 feet. So 29 foot long, seven foot wide, 29 foot foot, two and a half foot deep sailboat. It has a 50 horsepower engine on the back. Your boat doesn't have an engine on the back and you just sail it around you can just put one in totally fine hit save and i'm making it for myself because i own the boat nate gilman put my social in and i am the owner of the boat so it's just saying i'm going to have to have some type of proof of ownership which matches that vessel id that i put in earlier totally easy to do I'm tech department and i'm the master Gonna hit next, and then it defaults to whatever month it is right now. So it's July at the moment. Let's go back to January. Let's say 2020, I did 12 days. So I looked at Facebook and I kept track of how many days I was playing on my boats. I always stay underway for over four hours, so it counts as a sea day. 2021 was 15, and 2022 I was underway for two. So I can hit those. You can jump back and say, I also in March 2020, I lucked out and I got to go underway for 26 sea days, which was awesome. Lots of time underway. So you can see the days total is 55 and all of your time is here. If you make a mistake, you can click on it. You can click delete. And then because it's still there for March, it was actually 2020. And I was underway for 22 days. Hit enter. Now it's 51. Super simple. Hit next. This wants to know how far offshore you were. So you're always offshore at least a little bit because you're on a boat. So typically we just put in one. If you're further than that, put it in there. The main thing the Coast Guard is figuring out if you're over 200 nautical miles, and then they'll give you oceans time if you were near coastal. So for me, I was in Puget Sound in the Pacific Ocean. And I was near coastal for a bunch of it. And then I was also inland for some of it in Puget Sound. So I know that 19 of my days were inland in Puget Sound and 32 were on near coastal waters. So when I typed 19, it automatically did the math and made it perfect. So it's 51 and I hit next. And I know that it's in there for me. Just putting the quick address in. address, email is license help at mmcs.com. I'm going to hit next. And what that does is that creates the perfect C service letter for you automatically. You can check this page. All the math is done. Nice. You can scroll over, see the other page and it's waiting to be signed. Everything's looking good. Hit next. And then because I own the boat, I can type Nate Gilman. Nate Gilman, my full name. I've read the whole thing. I hit next. And there it is. There's our C time and a perfectly filled out C service letter. I'm Nate from MMCs. Hopefully this helped you out.